Every time I come to the stadium, I remember about 20 years ago, I would deliberately look for stadiums with Westerners and play football with them. Through playing football, I could practice my English and become friends with them. I am Austin. I work as a consultant in international education and cultural exchange. I grew up in a small fishing village. No one in my family ever went to university. I still remember that my grandma often took us outside the house to watch the sea by the door and told us stories about the outside world. So I always had this scene in my head as a child of stepping out of the fishing village, like how famous Hong Kong drama artist Chow Yun Fat stepped out of Lamar Island to see the outside world. I went abroad for the first time in 2014. I began working for international education projects after graduating. That was when I had the chance to bring a group of students abroad to America. After that, I thought, what if I could bring back some of the activities that my students experienced abroad? and let them have different kind of development opportunities. And that would benefit them more. Good morning, parents and students. Thank you very much for attending our 2024 Minx and Summer School. America has its strengths, England has its strengths, and China has its strengths too. I want to give our young people the opportunity to see the outside world. Likewise, I also want to bring international friends to China to see our latest developments. So, for the first time, in 2015, I brought more than 10 students and graduates from Oxford and Cambridge to take part in our summer program in China. Welcome to NASA! Yeah! Hi everyone, my name's Aidan and I study biology at the University of Oxford. I come from a small town, I just sort of wanted to explore, learn more about the world. I think we'll all stand up, we'll go to the back. I got an email about an opportunity so that I could go in and teach in China flat, and it was a flat. cultural exchange so I would learn more about China and they could learn more about England and I think it was generally one of the best things I've ever done whereas many of my friends were just sort of at home, bored, doing nothing. Every year I see these instructors from Oxford and Cambridge visit China and do things that they don't usually do, for example, dance on stage or greet students very cheerfully at the school entrance. They are a bit shy because British culture is quite conservative. Things like we did a dance earlier, that's something that before doing these summer camps I would have hated doing, like being silly and a bit like daft in front of the kids. It's definitely helped me sort of improve my confidence. Especially when they come from top universities like Oxford and Cambridge. When they arrive, we have to tell them, you are here to be a summer camp instructor. The first thing you have to do is to let go of yourself. You are not a professor. You have to know how to motivate students and encourage their interest in learning. Um, hello everyone, my name is Molly. I'm beyond excited to be a, a part of the TA team this year. I am delighted to see participants from nine years ago coming back and taking part in today's program. It's like watching your little sister or brother growing up. I wanted to come back and be a TA on this program because I felt inspired by the role models and I think this spirit needs to be passed on. I don't think of myself as an education agent. What I really do is to build a bridge and open a window so that we can learn from one another and exchange our ideas to be mutually benefited.